welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a monthly payment. I've never done this before, so let's hope everything goes all right. I've wanted to do it for ages. Finally, I've gotten around to doing it. The things I include in my monthly favorites are literally things that I use almost on a daily basis. I practically love them. So if you want to see what I really enjoyed for this month or for the month of September, for the month of October, then keep on watching. Okay, so to start this off, these design palettes from Edgar's. Oh my goodness, guys, I absolutely cannot be enough about these. I did a blog post about them, and if you follow me on Snapchat, I went through all of these, did a bunch of swatches, and again, on my blog, there's a whole bunch of info on them. And they are pigmented beyond belief. I promise you guys, I don't know what they put in these, but some winning formula, I can tell you that much. I've got this shade, like a mixture of these two shades on my eyes today, and they are just absolutely insane. I mean, look at that pigmentation. Beautiful. Then next up is this Revlon Colorstay Foundation. As you can see, I'm pretty pale. Again, I'm wearing it today, but it's just an amazing formulation. It stays on your skin for so, so long like incredible wear on this foundation. And again, just really affordable. I'm in the shade 002 Buff, and it's got SPF 15. I did not know that. I just figured that out now from reading the label, which is awesome. This Revlon Color Stay, I would highly recommend it. And um, again, I've used this every, I've used this every day this month. So I love it, absolutely. Next up is a brand that you guys might not be too familiar with. I'm not too sure, but it's Heen. And these two products I have been absolutely loving from them, this especially. This is the Heen Glam Highlighting Powder. That's the packaging, very nice big mirror and all the rest. But this highlighter is absolutely beautiful. I would say it's more iridescent than shimmery or glittery. It is so finely milled. Oh, it is absolutely beautiful. I actually use this over my entire face and um, it just gives this gorgeous, glow to the skin. I don't know, do I look glowy guys? And again, I've used this every single day and I do not like look like a giant disco, glimmery, shimmery ball. I just look fresh, healthy, I'm good. <laughs> and again, with the same brand is their Wildcat Eyes Mascara. I've been using this non-stop. What I really like about it is on the brush there is not an overload of product. Like. I don't know, some scars, just product comes spewing out and there's so much on the brush and your eyelashes clump and it's just a hot mess. But this one, there's not too much product on, just the right amount and I love how the brush tapers, just really get in on those little tiny lashes, you know. Uh, again, great value for money. I highly recommend this mascara from them. Okay, then kind of straying a bit away from makeup and more to skincare. I've got two things. Firstly, it's this Pons. Uh, even tone facial foam. I have noticed a massive difference in my skin and just the feel of it, the look of it after I've used this product. And I don't know if it's just me, but when I wash my face, I love it when my facial products like foam. So in face wash I use, I love it when it foams. I don't know, in my mind it just makes me feel like the product's actually working. And this one has a beautiful lather. It's just stunning. It's worked so well for my skin. And again, I cannot recommend this enough. I think it's about 70 Rand. Uh, depending where you get it from. So again, very affordable in dollars. I think that's about seven or eight dollars. So loving it. Then if you guys have been following me for a while on my Instagram or I don't know, Facebook, anything like that, you will know I absolutely love this Nivea Gentle Eye Makeup Remover. I cannot rave about this enough. What I really like about it, obviously number one, it completely removes all my makeup off my face but I can get this stuff so close to my eyes and they do not get sore, they do not flare up, they do not get sensitive. It just, it feels like water on my face, but it's just pulling all the makeup off. Again, this is such an affordable product. This bottle was 50 Rand, so $5, $6. Absolutely amazing. If you haven't tried this, I seriously think you should. Give it a whiz, give it a bang. Probably about my fourth, fifth bottle now since I discovered it. Um, absolutely amazing. Then onto nail products, I've recently discovered these Yardley Jalak nail polishes. These guys really exceeded my expectations. When I first got them, I thought, mm, they're gonna be watery, I've never tried Yardley, not really interested, and then one day I just thought, you know, let me give them a bang. And they have turned out to be stunning polishes. 
These two colors in particular I've actually tried. I've not tried these two yet, but the formulation of them are just brilliant. This red one, one coat and your nails look hot as hell. Like you do not need to put two coats on, for me anyway, and it just leaves this beautiful gelled finish. I think they retail for about 60 Rand each. Again, $6, $7, something around that mark and just amazing. Definitely check them out. I've, I had this on my toes, on my hands for about two, three weeks. I've still got it on my toes and yeah, I'm loving these. Okay, hair care. First thing I've got here is John Frieda Full Repair Oil Elixir. I was sent these to review by Beauty Bulletin uh, or this and a whole other range to review and this has impressed me the most. If you look at it, the formula is so watery, so it really doesn't weigh your hair down when you put on your hair and try and get rid of that frizz or create a shine or whatever. It's a fantastic product. Again, I've been using this every single time I hop out of the shower. I put this on my hair. Because this is so watery, it's a dream. I love it. And then finally, for some non-beauty related things, I've got a bit of jewelry that I got for my birthday from Mike and I really wanted to show you guys. It's these beautiful little silver necklaces. They're, they're just absolutely beautiful and I love the chain. It's really, really thin. I know they originated in Australia, the brand, and it's obviously come down here to South Africa. They've been in the country for a while as far as I know, but it's just such a brilliant brand. I cannot recommend them enough because their jewelry is seriously good quality um, and very, very much affordable. But what I really like about them, um, or the brand in particular, is how they mark on the packaging the length of each necklace. So this one was 21 centimeters, this one was 23 centimeters, and the other one was 45 centimeters. So then I could automatically tell that's gonna be brilliant for layering. Yeah, so if you have a Levisa near you, I definitely say go check it out because man, they have some jewelry to die for. Seriously, they do. And that brings me to the end of my first monthly favorite ever. If you are not yet already subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you've tried any of these products, please let me know in the comment section. And if you have any questions, again, let me know in the comment section. But just check out the info bar because I will leave a lot of the info down there. And also give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye.